If you have an older version of the firmware or the web motion in your servo controller Xenox, you can easily upgrade it to the most recent version. In order to upgrade the web motion, you also need to upgrade the firmware. Before the upgrade, it is important that you deactivate the button Keep Temporary Files on My Computer in the setting of your Java. Otherwise, it could happen that Java reads the old version in the cache memory. Also, be sure to save the file with the update somewhere you can easily find it again. When you start the web motion with the corresponding IP address of the Xenix, you will see the installed firmware and hardware version. If there is a hardware too, it is important that you do a bootloader update before you proceed to upgrade the firmware and the web motion. If there is hardware 3 or higher, you won't need to run a bootloader update. You can directly proceed to the firmware update. The firmware for the update is also in the file that was previously saved and has the ending MOT. The download takes about a minute. After completion, close the web motion. In order to update web motion, you need the device installer. You can download and choose the Lentronics device installer under www.lentronics.com. When opened, the device installer shows all registered devices. Choose the one whose IP address corresponds to the Xenix and then hit upgrade. The file with the ending .lxi can also be found in the file previously saved. After the file is loaded, the web motion can be reopened and the new version is ready to use. You can, for example, hit the quick start button and check the linear motor. Once more you see how easy the handling of our product is. You're welcome to contact us if you have questions. Many thanks for your attention.